Welcome to Mobi Guide. This guided tour has been produced by Westnyländska Kultursamfundet as an EU project. Welcome to Tenla Church. This double colonnaded triple aisled grey granite church was built during the 13th and 14th centuries. The sacristy on the north side of the church is a remnant from an earlier wooden church built before the 13th century. The vaults and gable windows were built to their current height and appearance during the 1460s. The eastern gable was decorated and the old sacristy tiled under the direction of master builder Petrus Muratus from Cimito, who was also responsible for parts of the vaults in Turku Cathedral. The stone section of the belfry was built in the 14th century, serving as the gate to the medieval churchyard. In 1761 it was surmounted by a new wooden construction by the illustrious master builder Anders Pimenen from Turku. The big bell was cast in Stockholm in 1817, while the little bell dates to the 12th century. This makes it the oldest bell on the Finnish mainland. Only the bell found on Ekkare in Åland is comparable in age. There are many interesting objects to be seen within the church. The altarpiece was painted by J. E. Lind in 1839 and is a copy of Leonardo da Vinci's famous The Last Supper. The former altarpiece, purchased in 1698 with the same motif, was destroyed by a dog locked in the church in 1825. The silver gilt wooden crucifix on the altar was made 1460-80, possibly the work of Bernd Notke, who also made St. George and the Dragon in Stockholm Cathedral. The relief of the crowning of Virgin Mary is from the same period, but by an unknown artist. It is believed to show Mary's parents, Joachim and Anne. The 14th century triumphal crucifix stood many a year in the stairway to the gallery, but is now hanging again in its proper place. The paintings on the cross probably originally showed symbols of the evangelists, but were replaced with new images in the 17th century. The carving of St. Olaf indicates that this Norwegian saint may well be the patron saint of the church. Although it is damaged, the remaining features talk volumes about the great artistic merit of the carver. The pulpit is one of the most precious artifacts from the 17th century and was possibly executed by Master Magnus or idol sculptor Mons Larsson. It was painted around 1675, perhaps by the same artist who was responsible for painting the pillars. The pulpit itself was bestowed to the church in 1655 by Anna Hans Dotter van Sanden. The pulpit canopy is surmounted by a pelican with chicks. In earlier times it was generally believed that the pelican fed their young with their own blood, as Jesus gave his blood for us all. The pulpit itself is richly decorated with Baroque carvings. The image of Samson, which previously held up the pulpit, is now at the rear of the church. It is alternatively thought to represent St. Christopher, the patron saint of travellers, who carried the infant Jesus over the river Styx. The image was removed from the church after a woman was thought to have miscarried as a result of gazing upon it. The paintings on the pillars are special, since they stem from the so-called Age of Orthodoxy, when church paintings in Sweden and Finland were often whitewashed over. Executed in 1675, the paintings include images of the Evangelists, the Annunciation and the Passion of Christ. The stained glass windows, too, are worth special notice. Alongside similar works in the church at Poyu, they are among the very few preserved examples of Finnish glass painting from the 16th and 17th centuries. They show the crests of the Boye, Fleming, Horn and Stolarm families, among others. Coats of arms carved in wood also occur richly throughout the main body of the church and the transept. In addition to the ones mentioned before, the families of Körning, Sabelscherna, Gripenberg, Svinhuvud and Jös are represented. The sacristy houses two memorials, one of which, the Stolar Memorial, is unique in Finland and perhaps the most precious of all the works found in Tenla Church. The work, executed in limestone, was erected in 1603 in memory of Elin Hermansdotter Flemming, wife of Arvid Stolarm.
The 1780s pews are also unique, particularly the term pews between the pulpit and the altar. These are so designed that members of the congregation may sit facing the altar during services and then turn towards the pulpit when the priest goes aloft to give his sermon. The only other similar pews are to be found in Salvo Church. Following a thorough two-year restoration, the church was reconsecrated in 1986.